So I'm just heading out. Um, I went to the water. And it's always an exciting part of the day when you're first heading out there. Um, I'm looking for, I'm basically looking for a hatch, but what I'm looking for is I know the water well. I'm looking for drop-offs. And I'm looking for depths, sort of 10 to 16 feet. That's where the better wintered fish are going to be. We'll just be sitting a couple of feet off the bottom, gorging on the buzzer. So heading out, the excitement's palpable. It really is. So when I fished this um, sliding bung, I fished three flies, two size 10, top dropper, middle dropper, and a really heavy um, grub hook on the point. That's what I'm going to catch the majority of fish on, is the grub hook on the point. Um, and I have them spaced evenly apart under the bung. So that point fly, big heavy grub one, that's 14 feet below the bung. Oh, there's a spaced at specific intervals next to that. So literally, um, I've got to my area and it was pretty fast and furious. And this is the, the bit. So I'd actually had it set a little bit too deep. Um, and I think we've all been there. And things are set a little bit too deep. It's a bit of a stretch when you're trying to net the fish, especially when they're good fish. And this thing really led me a merry dance. Probably because my bung was set a bit too deep. I've got a nine foot nine inch rod here and it's a six weight so it's light. Um, I kind of do an awful lot of bullying. So I've had to extend my net. I'm at full stretch here trying to net this thing. Still never managed it. But you can see I've got pressure on the fish all the time. I think when you're fishing buzzers you need to have that um, there needs to be a bend in your rod all the time. But if they go, obviously give them some slack. But I just can't do nothing with this thing. So powerful, these winter fish early in the season, gorging on buzzers. So I think I've had three attempts at that so far. Every one of them I've mucked it up. Again, due to too long a leader. Which I do rectify. So I nearly had him in the net there, <laughs> and he's away again. You can see I'm full stretch there. Finally. I've got it. This is a stamp of fish you're getting for. Really nice, beautiful. Uh, rainbows, really nice rainbows. Check out the tail on that. Long and thin, fighting machine. I'll just show you my setup. See what I'm fishing. I've got a. This is a six weight rod, nine foot nine six weight rod, and I've got a a Rio Gold, not a Rio Gold, Rio Perception floater on. And this is my setup. So I'm fishing, so I can fish the sliding bunk. So I've got two rod stoppers there, and then a, a little tippet ring. Four feet off of that. I've got my first buzzer, catching bugger all because it's too high up. But I am catching on these two. So this is a Vicar buzzer, a gold one, a little bit of brightness when it's deep down. Get the tongue look while I'm here, so that's that buzzer there. Vicar. And then finally, I've got this beauty. This is what I'm getting most of my fish on. Most of my fish are coming to this, 14 feet deep. Uh, a fly that I've had for a long time, it's just made up of thread, different colours of thread. But it looks exactly like a buzzer. If I hold that like that, you can see it. Looks exactly like a buzzer. A big grub hook. That's it, cast it out, let it get down, and then watch out, bunk sail under. It's awesome. Okay. So we've been in the bung. And I've got it like 14 feet, I've got a sliding bung on. Three flies, big grub who go in the point, which we'll look at in a minute. It's took a while to find the fish, but now that we've found them, it's consistent. These are the fish that we get. got to be very gentle with this thing, because it's a big fish. Just got to rest them in the, in the boat. This is a proper winter dream boat. Put your tail in that. 
That's the stamp of fish you can get with buzzers. Get them back in the water. You ready for this, Lindsay? So when you're um, fishing this man with a bunt, it's basically a case of doing nothing. And all I'm doing there is keeping up with the line. But what I do do, <coughs> every now and then again when I'm fishing the bang is, I'll quickly speed up my tree, gathering a foot of line. I usually do that in the drop. What's the wind drop? It's dropping it's a down. warmer, isn't it? Um, northeast wind's never got to be nice. Just keeping in touch with it, nothing else. And I'm always moving my my body if the boat moves because I want as straight a line as possible. I don't want any curves or sweeps in the line. You see I'm doing nothing. Once my flies are set and I know they're dropped to the depth, so they're all sitting vertical, which will happen, you'll see it with the bunk bunks that's flushing the water. Because every now and again I give my rod tip a flick just to raise them and catch up with the line. Like that. It's a tiny little flick and then I quickly retrieve to catch up with that line as I go on. on. Great way of catching them. You ready to catch? And here you go. This is the, the stamp of fish you again. Nice one in the net. And here's one on the, the top buzzer, which is a bit of a rarity because I've never got anything really on the top buzzer. This is the only one, and you'll notice it's a wee stock fish rather than the proper wintered ones. And another one going back. I mean, it was just carnage. So fast and furious. Yep. This is me and again. Still at 14 feet, Steve? Yep. Oh, that's a boy. Yeah, that's a boy. That's, that's the depth I was at 14 feet for the majority of the day, especially early in the morning. It's a case of finding them, Lindsay, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's a good one. You see the amount of stick I'm giving it with this rod as well. Remember Steve Loads of stick. Plenty of power, but it feels oh, great. I got that! Like that. I got that! That's Lindsay schooling because he comes jumping through the water and got in his cam. Comes up again. We heard it splashing. Just phenomenal sport. Phenomenal sport. Yeah, that's the thing with the sliding bang. It's just that totally static presentation, which you kind of get any other way. People will decry the bang, but trust me, when it's on, it's not much more close to it. I do like straight lining eh? because buzzers are moving all the time. You can manipulate them a lot, however, for bigger sort of resident fish that static approach takes some beat. extend the net there. <laughs> That's one of the problems when you're fishing so deep. It comes off, it comes off. Sorry? It comes off, it comes off. I've extended my net there. We've got a fish that's such a long depth. So much power out of the season. Crystal clear water as well, so you can see where they're going. Let me know when you're ready to turn up, Paul. That's stunk down. Down over the top of it. Oh, that's a boy. Finally getting more. Oh, that's a boy. Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. Lovely trout. Typical winter fish. Skinny. Big tail. We just fight like fury. It's such good fun. Play some light line gear. There you go. Then big paddle tail. Again, that's me just a little rod flick. I do it quite a lot once the buzzers are set. A little rod flick. I think it makes a 
a bit of a difference just moving those flies only sort of six inches in the water column but it's usually enough but there you go i've done it again especially if you get a little dink on the bung it's worth employing that method because the fish will come back and take it once it's moved and that's how you get the majority of fish right in the top lip um, in the big grub as a that was one of the better fish that I got. You get a tail in it, just an absolute beauty. Such an amazing fish. We only got the winter ones early in the morning, funnily enough. And there's another cracker with that big grub hook. Big grub hook was the fly on the day. But the fish were just stunning, bars of silver. Really good. There's a vicar buzzard doing some damage. Maybe the big fly, like. And that was my setup. Grub hook, vicar, on his cheap buzzer. Nice and simple.